Hey guys, welcome to Mayfield Family Farm. I wanted to show you guys our fodder system. Um, basically, I'll explain first what a fodder system is. We take barley seed uh, that an animal typically would eat, and when they eat that barley seed, they only will get um, a, a small portion of the uh, protein that's in the seed because it's not bioavailable for the bodies. And so when we grow that barley seed out in the field, then they're able to get more of uh, the protein in it. So we're doing this on a different scale where we grow it indoors and you'll see behind me what that system looks like. And so what we do is we take the seed and we soak it for 24 hours to get it ready to uh, begin to sprout. And then after 24 hours later, we place that in the grow trays behind me and then we water it twice a day for one minute. So it's only getting two minutes of water per day, which is way less than any uh, grass that would be grown in a field. So we're able to control the growing environment and use a lot less water to conserve that resource. And then what happens over the course of seven days, all of that grass, that uh, the seed has grown from a seed day one to about a six inch tall grass in just seven days. And what's powerful about that is it multiplies by about six times its weight. So every one pound of seed turns into about six pounds of fodder that we're able to give to our animals. Uh, the fodder is a great resource here at Mayfield Family Farm because we're able to feed it to our goats to the rabbits, to the chickens, and to the quail. Uh, so it becomes a great resource um, as food. So here I'm gonna show you guys how our system works and uh, what all steps goes into that. All right, so I wanted to show you what the seed looks like. So this is the seed in its uh, form that we buy. We buy it in the 50 pound bags and then just store it in these buckets. And then we soak it in this uh, for 24 hours. You can see it's two buckets. One of them has a bunch of holes drilled in the bottom. And uh, so that way when we pull that bucket of seed out, all the water drains out. And then it goes into uh, these trays. So this tray right here is uh, day one. It's one day old. So this is seed that I put in here yesterday. And you can see I'm only filling it halfway because that's all that we are growing at this point. We're gonna be uh, pushing it to the front and putting more seed in here pretty soon. Uh, this is day two. And if you get, if you're able to see this just starting to sprout and get a little bit of growth. This is day three. You can see just in those two days, it's remarkable the difference. This is day four down here. And then day five, day six. And then this is what we're gonna be pulling out today. So you can see it is um, getting over the top of this tray. We haven't even started using this whole side here uh, just because we haven't needed it yet. Uh, as you can see, this uh, pipe right here is the drain pipe. So each tray, has a fitting in it right here where the water drains, comes down here, follows down this pipe, and then exits out the house back there, or back of our garage, and I'll show you what that dumps into in a minute. And then water comes in, I have a supply line that comes in right here. It comes up and goes to this timer, and uh, this timer then, like I said, is set to go off every 12 hours. And then the spray jets, you see all these valves, and these control the water going into each tray. We had to put one in each one uh, because it had to, the pressure had to be controlled. And what it does is it runs along this PVC pipe here and I just have some holes drilled in it, uh, three holes per tray, they're just 16 inch holes. So when the system runs, it just puts a nice uh, trickle of water into the system. So I'll take you outside and show you how the outside works. All right, so this is the outside of our garage showing how the fodder system works. So this is the supply line. It's just a garden hose that runs to a PVC fitting that feeds that water timer. And then this uh, is the drain pipe that comes out and then it drains into this bucket. And then I'm able to use the water that drains out of here and uh, scoop it out and pour it into our different gardens on the bonsai pot, uh, plants and anywhere else that we need water. So the nice thing about this whole system is there's no waste. All the water that's used through the fodder system is recycled into the garden. So just another way to uh, uh, reduce those resources. So I want to show you guys how crazy our animals go for the fodder. So uh, like I said, I'm just getting a, a chunk right here and give it to the uh, goats. Dump out some of the water. Do you like that, Billy? Yes, you do. 
All right, so that is how our fodder system works. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, uh, make sure to uh, put that down in the comment section. And uh, likewise, we'd appreciate if you guys uh, like our Facebook page, uh, visit our YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to that. And we look forward to seeing you guys again on the next uh, video.